Our one word descriptions of the uh, neighborhood are re-emerging, potential, unsafe for children, and changing. There is, in our community, a negative perception of the east side. People think that the east side is not a safe place. And, and, and sometimes there have been um, media stories out there that, that help reinforce that. Well, I think um, they all face drug problems, but it's not as um, uh, in your face as here on the east side. The children that don't have both parents, especially African Americans and Hispanics, but mostly black, because I'm black, I can't speak for them. But from what I see, that, that's something we need to make sure that the children get the education, they need a father figure, they need mentors, because there's about a lot of guys out here in this community, I'll be out here, that I see a lot of things. I, I talk to them when I can, I break up fights when I can, and I know why though. It, it doesn't get me angry, it doesn't get me upset, because if I'm here, I could be here and complain and try to leave, or I could try to do something and help, and I choose to help. When you have crime, gangs, teenage pregnancy, uh, drugs, and you see it all the time coming into the church, you say, oh, there's a prostitute over there. It's the same prostitute Sunday after Sunday after Sunday, or teenagers hanging out. It seemed like a, a light bulb would come into your mind and say, what is it that we can do to help with this situation? How do we organize all seven or eight of us to do something about the problem? Uh, a lot of bullying, a lot of... Uh, well, it used, it used to be a lot of the kids couldn't walk to school coming through here. They had to walk them around the, the outsides and just to get Outside them to of school. Weekly? Yeah. Why? Because drug dealing and uh, you know, like when they took a shot down, those people were here and you know they opened up shooting. They started shooting at any given time. You know, they, somebody from Weekly Court team, somebody from Sutton, and all that stuff. But I mean, that was once upon a time. Now everybody just walks through. It's settled down. Yeah, it settled down big time. One of the things that, the, uh, that has come up in conversation is the safety of the kids. Um, if you go to the, uh, just drive around the boundaries of, of Wheatley Middle School, you will see a lot of abandoned houses. Um, to the uh, back side of my campus, you'll see the uh, railroad yard and some drainage. Um, the kids have nicknamed it the uh, Goonies. This area was always called Rattlesnake Hill uh, because all the rattlesnakes that was found over in this area from when it was developing homes and things. But down in this area is the drainage area. This is where our kids skip school and hang out. When it rains, it looks like a, a raging river. And you can see where the water has damaged. Mm -hmm. the cracks. So on the other side over there, they have fixed it. But you can see another good hard, strong rain. Those rocks uh -huh. right there are going to give away. The People think it's a dump ground because it's, uh, you know, south side. It's southeast side. People think it's a dump ground. It's alright to dump the trash. They do have trash pickup. Come on, guys. If you got electricity, you got garbage, and if you don't got electricity, somebody you know has got a garbage can and throw stuff in. This is gross, you know? I don't want to go over there and find somebody's dirty underwear and tampons, you know, and have it blow up and somebody dump dead dogs and they're all over here. Yeah. Oh, they dumped the dog? A dead one. Oh, God, yeah. Wasn't that old of a dog either? Pitbull. I'll tell you that real quick, my jaw. They say it's no sewage, they just say it's all drainage. Dirty water. But this water stays down in this drain. It doesn't but really much. work. It don't Rain. go nowhere. It just sits. And it's trashy. This looks good, guys. About two months ago, there was like 10 garbage bags. And, I mean, it's just like, they throw it out. They don't care. There was carpet, mattresses. OK, I know it costs to take that stuff to dump, but you know what, there's some homeless shelters that take some mattresses if they're in good shape, good enough shape to reuse, right? Am I right? See that big piece of pipe right there? That is yeah. underground electrical and the lid's right. off of it. The lid's right. off of it. Where? Right there. That thing right there? Yeah. The lid's gone off of it. You can get into the electrical and cable. Uh, oh my God. You can climb in the hole, see? There's a ladder, see? Don't you go down there. No, no, don't no, go. No, but look, <laughs> just come over here and look. Get, this is where they go in to work on stuff. 
And it is trash and water and garbage all in there. Oh and I guarantee you, they didn't even put the top back on. how many people you think it's gonna take to lift that top? It's gonna take a truck. That top and probably they took it off and just left it on. That top probably weighs twelve hundred pounds or more, maybe more. They didn't. No humans lifted that. And look what he says. Warning. And the city, when they come out, they just take a tractor and just go over it. But we still have all of this, and my kids hides up in all of this when they skip in school. And, and if you hide up in that, you can't nobody find you. The dust, I wouldn't go up in there because of the area. It's called Rattlesnake Hill. We said to go up under the Walter Street Bridge. Uh, bodies have been found. People have been murdered and their bodies have been dumped up under the Walter Street Bridge since the 13 years I've been here. Uh, they, so last year, it was a woman's body found under the bridge. And so I'm going to take you and show you what, looks, what it looks like up under our bridge. There have been bodies found here under the bridge. About, I want to say about five, maybe longer years ago, they set the bridge on no, fire. It was no, trash. No, and you can see, you can see where the bridge is black, where the bridge had uh, been caught on fire. And right now, what you see is very clean because it have been worse. It looks to be a body of water back here. Now, why do they call it Silver Lake? Because Silver Lake, when the sun go down, it looked like it shined. Mm -hmm. now, and you can see how they tag the walls. So they down here constantly since that's fresh tagging. Now, who's responsible for this area? You were telling me that you didn't. Oh, uh, well, I really don't know because here's the tracks. There's Joe Freeman and the city. So who they need to cut and make it clear for these trees. Look how they, you know, people can hide up in here. It's homes and people can be hiding in these bushes in these people's backyard. This is something that my younger girls need in life and my grandkids, a better east side. That's why so many people are moving off the east side because they say it's better over there on the north side, the northeast, the south side. And I wanna, want people to move back to the east side and say, hey, it's a good place to live too. We need it. Mm -hmm. You know, um, the school system needs it. The community in general needs this extra boost, something that'll help to revitalize the east side or um, revitalize the school system here on the east side. People make promises, but nobody sticks around to see them through. And um, that's one of the main uh, concerns of the residents that nobody, you know, pe people just can't make promises. So when they come with a truckload of food or clothes or something like that, everybody's trying to get what they can get. and. You know, they're not worried about the next day because they don't look for them to come back. You know, 50 years ago, this is what they thought would work. You know, Maya Angelou, Oprah always quotes Maya Angelou, says, when you know better, you do better. We know yeah. better now. We right. know that this doesn't work as yeah. far as creating a thriving community for families and children. So we know better, so we got to do better. We just need some money so we can do better. <laughs> then I tell some of the people and my neighbors, and they look at me and they say, yeah, they told us that before. And I'm here to tell them that, hey, this time, we'll this time is different. And it's like uh, one man said, I'm like Missouri, show me. Because <laughs> the Missouri is the show me state. And he said, so you're going to have to show me that this is for real.